all right guys picking up where we left off we've crashed twice um, i don't know what's up with uh obvious on ubuntu here but um we're managing so but where we left from picking up from where we left off you should have your token created and your beyond bsc scan have your address have it all set up everything now we're gonna go to pancake swap and we're gonna want to add it there i was already doing some stuff here but i just go go over it again um um you know uh, never leave my boys hanging um the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add liquidity right i already added some liquidity but you're not going to have any of your own tokens because you just created it all right so just you know pretend like this says zero but you're, and you're not going to have any um tokens the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import your own token so that you can see it in your wallet all right um for that you're going to want to copy the address here or on bsc scan is fine you're going to want to go on uh, metamask you're going to want to click import tokens uh, you're going to paste the address and it should pop up um, with your symbol and everything i already have this added here so it says i already have it added it show up like this all right but you should have zero all right and that's a problem because now you want to add liquidity um, so other people can you know buy and trade your token um yeah so for that you're going to want to go to either remix or bsc scan you're going to want to find the mint function you're going to want to add your address um you're gonna want to put however many tokens you want all right plus 18 zero so for right now i have 1900 um, from adding a thousand twice all right i'm gonna give myself another um a thousand two all right um so i'm gonna give myself one thousand two and then 18 zeros one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen right and that will give me um the amount that i want we've been trying desperately to preserve the little bnb so we don't have to go back to the exchanges right now because that would be a pain in the ass okay um but obvious is not cooperating and so um since it's done you should you should see um where pixels are in. And in this case we, we saw it immediately all right so once that's done you're going to want to come to pancake swap or again you can also do this on your own clone it's kind of the same process you just add the rotor um from your um for your own personal rotor here i'll probably make another video showing, showing that but again it's roughly the same um you're going to want to do add liquidity all right um and if your pancake shop doesn't bring up your token you're going to want to copy your copy um your own address um and paste it into pancakes up all right i already added it so it says as pixels all right and you do add liquidity now bear in mind the ratio that you put at first um i also say this in other video it's not so easily understood i guess pancakes pancakes up shows you now but the ratio of bnb or usdt or whatever you put um is determining the price especially since you're setting the initial price here with bnb you're going to want to put um some amount that's like reflective of the pr the price that you want it to start at as well as um some expectation on volume now you can just put um there to set the price and then leave people to buy and sell it and it will fluctuate and float on its own but you know just something to keep in mind so in this case i already kind of set the price i just put um like uh like 0, 0.0 something bnb and um that's kind of like uh determining like the ratio so if i want it to be like the price of bnb right now is like 270 if i put one bnb and then i put one um, pixels the price would be like 270 i guess you don't want that you're so high typically so you put 0. 0.0000 something um to represent the amount of price that you want it and then you click supply all right i already click so uh, let me just go ahead um confirm all right and that will add um, um liquidity to your token so people can like buy and sell it you probably want to add more than that but um it's all up to you all right the next thing you want to do um just make sure it's recording again here is where we always fall off um next thing you want to do is um you want to test if people can buy and sell and that you receive the fees etc right now you as the account owner you don't really get charge fees when it, um as the pick uh, the token owner you don't really get charge fees whenever you're trying to swap but others will because we said it so in our contract right or marketing fees etc all right so what i did 
I have a different account here that I might gonna uh, that I'm testing, and you can see here I already sent some from or or or, or previous occurrences. Um, and we're just gonna like test it real quick. But before people can buy, sell, and trade on your token, you as the owner, you're gonna wanna come back and um, let's just switch back, and you wanna go to BSC scan, all right? And you're gonna wanna set um, enable trading. So you wanna do trade. What? Oh my God! I that's the same thing I keep doing. Um, that I crashing the thing, and I keep forgetting because the keys are different on um, um, uh, Windows. But thank fuck it did not. Um, you're gonna want to do um, trade, trade status, and you're gonna want to put true, okay? And you're gonna click right, and it uh, it will enable. My trade is already enabled, so um, I'm not gonna do that. But you just click confirm the transaction.